Hello. So, it is time for the semi-finals of UBL Season 8. We skipped the final week of the season. Um, from what I understood, it didn't matter for standings. So we only played six weeks. Um, and, to my understanding, um, we I think we got either second or third overall. I can double check this. Right, so season nine. No, no, it's not season nine. We're working on season nine. <laughs> Uh, season 8. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we got first overall. Um, and we're playing Gig in Goyge. The person we played, we won. With their team of Indidi, Armourouge, Tinkerton, Samarot, Hisui, Frostmoth, Clodsire, Dedene, Ariyama, Salamence, Gengar, and Cloyster. It, it was probably the closest week we had out of all of them um, that we didn't lose because we lost against uh, Eris. Um, but this was a super close week, and like I like there was definitely some hacks in our favor for sure. So going into this is gonna be tough. Of course, indeed, the armorage has to be feared. Salamence has to be feared. Hurry armor does a lot of damage. Um, and a Pokemon that that I didn't expect it to be as good as it was in the matchup was Tinkerton. Tinkerton proved to be a big issue for us, and if it wasn't for a last-minute slap on a flamethrower on a Noivern, we were gonna be uh, we were gonna be in trouble. So we've got being in a winning position is weird because it's like cool. I know what worked, but your opponent can prep for what worked, and Jig has. Proven that they can, um, uh, like, make the run back, and they want the run back. So, or I would like to go to finals, you know, and win. So, now normally for VGC especially, it's really important to come up with a plan. Like, a plan of what you want to do, or what you're going to be leading with. But for this matchup specifically, they have so many options and so many things that they can bring and so many directions that they can go, it's kind of hard to just baseline a plan. I can ev I can take it one or two directions. I can either try to make them play my game, or I play their game. Um, and neither one sounds good, because if my game isn't good enough against theirs, then I lose. And if I try and play their game and I'm playing the wrong game, essentially, like I'm trying to stop Trick Room and then they're trying to go for, you know, Bake out Dragon Dance with Salamence, then, you know, we're buggered. So, I figured that this one is going to be pretty much down to good stuff. Um, same with them, to be fair. Like, they have good stuff, and I need to rely on my good stuff to beat their good stuff. So, for the Pokemon I'm bringing, Hovet Cloak Noivern. This is actually the right item, not the clear amulet this time. Bastard and Gengar. Got a bit of... HP left over as we've got max special attack with Draco. Flamethrower is our only other offensive move. Tailwind and Protect. Actually, it might change Tail. I uh, might change Protect actually because I don't like having Flamethrower as my only move. It means I can't hit a. What's it called? I can't hit Armourouge outside of Draco. And I don't like that. Might be Torn? Or is it just like Pray for Hurricanes? I hate that even more. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this has not been an easy one to prep for. We'll go Dark Pulse. I didn't realize you had Dark Pulse. We'll go Dark Pulse. Last minute change to Dark Pulse. Because I don't need Protect on Noivern. I've got the Covert Cloak. So. Draco, Flamethrower, Tailwind, Dark Pulse. We've got Terrifier, kind of for resistances. Like resistance to Fairy, resistance to Ice. Not be weak to dragon. Um, we've got the Frisk. This and Weavile are probably going to be our leads game one. At least just to make sure I can scout for items and information. 
This is going to be a battle of information and making sure we can know what each other wants to do. So, um, yeah, we're hoping that uh, Neuven can put in some work. We've got Tailwind. I think that going fast is going to be the play. If they want to go slow, we've got some slow pieces of our own. So, but I think for the most part, we're going to try and go fast here. Um, last time I brought a uh, weird deal with Imprisoned Trick Room and they weren't even going Trick Room at all. So... Um, I think just trying to go fast and making sure that some of my slower pieces can outspeed them when in Tailwind. Speaking of which, Rotom Wash. Bit of random speed creeping doesn't matter too much. Um, but the most important parts are the moves being Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, and Protect. With a Citrus Berry and Modest Max Special Attack to, ca to get Armor Rouge. Uh, we've got Terra Fire here, uh, again, because of the... Um, because of uh, potential Terra Grass Armor Rouge that I would expect if I'm going to be bringing Rotom, they'll bring Terra Grass Armor Rouge and then I need to be able to tear it out of, you know, my typing to be able to lift the uh, energy ball that it goes for. Uh, Volt Switch is going to be nice for pivoting. Um, just because, like, again, this is going to be kind of a good stuff matchup. Being able to pivot between certain pieces is going to be really nice. So having the... Um, Having the ability to pivot here is going to be pretty nice. Otherwise, it's just a nice bulky Rotom. Next up, Sylveon. I think I brought pretty much the same Sylveon last time. Maybe his speeds are different. I'm not sure. Um, but we've got enough speed to outspeed Gengar and Tailwind. Um, and otherwise, it's the Throat Spray Sylveon. Hyper Voice, Terror Blast with Terror Dark. Uh, Light Screen and Protect. Modest Max Special Attack, Rest Hunt in Bulk. Um, Sylveon's really good here. Um, it's, my only, it's one of my only ways... To do spread damage this time like I, I can expect wide guard although sylveon's not something that they want to be they don't care about as much um especially with armor rouge but um yeah we're hoping we can at least support with sylveon while also dealing with some really good damage now you notice that goldengo isn't making it this time and that's because it's time for typhlosion to come out assault vest typhlosion eruption flamethrower shadow ball terror blast terror dark if we need to be able to, if if we are Terra Dark, um, Armourage can't hit us. Uh, because we've got Flash Fire for the immunity of Expanding Force, and we've got, uh, we've got Flash Fire for the immunity of the of Armour Cannon, we've got, uh, Expanding Force for the immu uh, the Terra Dark for the immunity of Expanding Force. This walls Armourage, uh, and to an extent in DD as well, unless it's running a normal type move. So if um, if their plan is to go with um, Indeedy Armor Rouge, uh, even if they get into Trick Room, a Terra Dark Typhlosion will really screw them over. Um, so that is the idea. Otherwise, we're going mod we're going Timid Max Special Attack, just Max Max. Uh, because of Salamence, I want to make sure I can at least speed tie the Salamence, and I want to be faster than Tinkerton just in case to go fast on Tinkerton. Uh, there's no guarantee that they go slow and bulky on that thing. So. Uh, and the assault vest just kind of helps out, just to make sure that I don't need to terror if I don't have, to, like, if I don't want to. I can always just go for uh, the, um, I can just go for eruptions. Like, if I'm faster than things, then I can eruption things. If they're not going for um, armor rouge, um, but otherwise, flamethrowers and shadow balls will still do pretty decent damage. Next up, as I mentioned, we're bringing Weavile, Max Max, um, pretty much anywhere. We're faster than uh, what's it called than. Uh, are Neuven outspeeding their Gengar. Um, just because they can uh, they can fake out uh, Weavile just in case I don't fake them out back. Um, so we've got Torn and then Dual Stab with Night Slash and Ice Spinner. Ice Spinner is really nice for removing the terrain if needs be. Um, if not, just to reduce the damage output on their end. Terror Dark just to make sure we can do a bit of damage. Um, and Ice Spinner mainly for Salamence. Um, so... Nothing too special with Weavile, we've just got to make sure we can do what we can uh, with Weavile. So, yeah, that's it for Weavile. Nothing too crazy. And last but not least, Weirdeer. I didn't intend to bring Weirdeer initially, but I decided to bring it over Pachurisu. Um, just as a good defensive bulky p uh, pivot piece. Uh, it's got leftovers because I couldn't really think... I, I was considering, like... A bulky item for both Rotom and Weird Ear. And I figured Weird Ear is more likely to stick around on the field for a bit longer, just going for Psy Shocks and Earth Powers, which is really good coverage against their team. 
being able to actually uh, having the uh, move slot screen up for this matchup is really nice because Side Shot plus Earth Power does a really good amount against a lot of their Pokemon. Uh, you've got Armor Rouge, you've got Tinkerton, you've got Hariyama. Against Trick Room, this is going to be one of our best options. And then Cycling Intimidates for things like Salamence and Hariyama is going to be really, really nice. So, uh, that's why we've got this here. Um, also pretty good for Gengar as well. Like, we're fully Spadef, other than a bit of defense. Uh, I don't think this defense is going to come up. Um, unless they are not a Flame Orb Hariyama. Because um, originally I was going to go physical with uh, uh, Psy Shield Bash. And then the calc was to, if I get a plus one defense and they're at minus one attack on a Flame Orb Hariyama, I don't get 2 it KO'd. Um, but one, that was before I put on Leftovers. And two, I've not got Psy Shield Bash and I'm not going physical anymore. So those kind of kind of go out the window. But I guess if I get to it to minus one um, and it's not a Flame Orb set, then I think there's a... With the leftovers, it's probably a decent chance we can take two hits uh, that aren't named knockoff anyway. Uh, we've gone Terra Fairy for that defensive typing. Um, if I'm going to try and take anything, it's probably going to be from Hariyama or Salamence. It's kind of why Weird is really nice. So having the Terra Fairy, I think, is really nice for defensive typing. Otherwise, like I said, we've got the Side Shock and Earth Power Helping Hand. Again, it's going to be a supporting piece for the most part. It's not got Imprison, it's not got Trick Room. Um, it's just got Protect around that the slot. Pivoting, making sure we get our right pieces in the right position. We're probably going to have at least one of Neuven or Weavile up front in pretty much every game. And then some combination of the rest in the back. Uh, game 1, we're probably going to be going Weavile Neuven to at least like go for a safe option. It's good against most things. Um, in case they want to go for a fake out uh, set, uh, like fake out setup. Or if they want to go for... Um... <clears throat> or if they want to go for Trick Room. We can at least do some good damage or just like reposition accordingly uh, for Trick Room. Um, game 1, I actually don't know what I'm going to be bringing. Like, Weavile Neuvern Weird Ears sounds really bad. So it might be something along the lines of Weavile Neuvern Rotom Sylveon. Um, at least game 1. Depends what they bring. Because, um, like, so I think last time they brought Indeedy Armor Rouge, Tinkerton. Hariyama, Salamence, Gengar. I think those were the six that they actually just brought. Um, so, they could bring those six again. They could bring uh, Samurott this time. They could bring along, like, Cloyster or something. Um, but I could see them bringing pretty much that same six again. So, I've got to be ready for anything here. It's going to be tough, but we're playing later today. I'd like to make it to finals. I'd like to see if we can take this one home. Wish us luck. I'll see you guys for the match. Alright. We've got a few delays. But we're doing it. I'm really nervous for this. No Tinkerton! Wow. Well, I've glad well, I've got my fire stuff for this frost moth. <clears throat> we'll just get all three open, just because I'm used to it at this point. They bring Cloyster as well. So no Samurott, no Hariyama at all. So Trick Room looks like it's off the table. Really interesting. Well, I like um, I like Typhlosion here then. I like Neuven Typhlosion. Let's do that. Let's do Neuven Typhlosion. I was going to lead Weavile, but I like Neuven a bit more. Um... I think Sylveon wrote him in the back. I think that's perfectly fine. It's Cloyster Gengar. It's Scarf Cloyster Sash Gengar. Okay. It's 
Cloyster. Oh, Cloyster's interesting. I kind of have to get Typhlosion now, because it's probably... The thing is, it could go for either. That hit, max speed, 134. I think Rotom in Tailwind actually outspeeds that, so... Um... Honestly, I think I go for Eruption Tailwind. It is Icicle Spear. Okay. This shouldn't do too much to me. It's still a decent amount. But it's Scarf into Icicle Spear, so I'm really not afraid of it. I can't really switch to Sylveon either. Yeah, the damage from this isn't really something I have to worry about. Try Volt switching into the Gengar. Sash is broken. They would need to double the Typhlosion here. This is not a lead I expected. Not a lead I expected at all. Scarf Cloist is interesting. What's in the back? Indeed, the armorage? Mence? Oh, that's unfortunate. But the chip on Mence would have been nice for sure. We have to bring in Sylveon. Bring back the Cloister, and I bring in Rotom. I need to call where this uh, hit's going. I think I need to protect Sylveon, because it's the Cloister. So, I'm going to go for Volt Switch, I'm not going to reveal Thunderbolt just yet. And I'm going to protect Sylveon. It's Terra Steel. And it's DD. DD's definitely scary. And in DD, they set up the follow me. I wonder if I Terra Dark. Just to take the Iron Head. But I assume that's what it's going for. Uh, no, uh, sorry, Sylveon versus Salamence. DD. It's got Iron Head, it's probably going to kill me. Yeah, and Terra Steel, yeah, definitely. That'll definitely kill me. A Terra Dark, um, then we live. I think I have to Terra Dark to live this. Uh, so we're going to go for Hype Voice, because I want the Throw Spray. Um... Helping Hand. I forgot to Terror. Oh well, Helping Hand meant it didn't matter. And it's Life Orb as well. Wow. That changes things. That actually, I think, wins me the game. Oh right, they have Follow Me. Okay. Do I Hydro? No, because that was a crit. I guess I'm not getting it. There's a Citrus. Maybe I should have gone for Hydro. Oh, that did so much more than I was expecting. Yeah, that's going to do it then. I guess I had to go for Hydro crit. And I lose game one to a, to a crit on my... To a crit on my Typhlosion, because the chip on the Salamence would have mattered. It's really unfortunate. Even if it's just a little bit of chip. Okay. 
Then the challenge again. Scarf Cloister. I know four or four items. Okay. Okay. We are much better as a lead here. As we can fake out. I still think Typhlosion is a good lead. I do. I think fake. I think fake out pressure is better. We're gonna go weave our Typhlosion. I think we bring Rotom Sylveon in the back again. You don't get speed control down. What if it's? Hmm. We have Typhlosion in the back. Yeah, I like that. Um. And between Sylveon and... They're ready for Sylveon. We're gonna go Typhlosion Rotom. It's Gengar Cloister again. Okay. Take out Tailwind. Let's make sure we get the speed control this time. Because then we'll be faster than Cloyster. And then we can just take it out. Um, I don't know if I'll need to Draco it. Probably will. Terra Ghost. Mmm, that's unfortunate. Okay. We're bringing Typhlosion. I think we switch Weavile out. Go for Rotom. And then we go for the Eruption. I wish I had Terra Fire Eruption. Don't crit me, don't poison me. The amount of crits has been a little unreasonable, I feel like. Like, Weavile would have a bit more health here. And I might be able to stay in. Um... And actually go for a ghost move. Oh, sorry, a dog move. Okay. No poison. We get the eruption off. That almost takes out Gengar. Really nice. Oh, like, Rotom's the slowest thing on the field. So we can go for a Volt Switch into Weavile here. And we'll go for Eruption again. Come on! Come on! Really? Really? And the draw- Okay, no. I'm not happy with this game. That was another crit that mattered. Come on. Like. I don't know what you want from me. Um. Um, it's not locked into anything. Um, is there a way out of this? I just feel like there isn't. I think in case of a switch to Indeedee, I go for Terra Dark, Terra Blast here. We get the fake out off. We Hydro when we live. Okay. What's the last? Is it Indeedee again?
I need to win a speed tie. That is all it comes down to. Do I hit men's like at all? Do I target the men's even? Like, do I try and hit it with a uh, with weavile here? Nah, I hit. I think we just do this. It's Oh, it's D-Gleam! No! I shouldn't have gone for Ments. I was just thinking, follow me. Dang, that was a misplay on my part. I was, like, I was thinking, no way. <laughs> no, that wasn't GG. I'm sorry, Jig. I'm sorry, Jig, but that wasn't GG. So that was a crit game one that killed my Typhlosion that would have made the uh, Salamence not have enough health to keep going for the game. That was a crit game two on my Rotom Wash that would have lived otherwise and um, been able to be used in the end game. I'm not happy with that game now. No, I, I can't. I can't be happy with that. Like the terror ghost, give it to him, no problem. Um, but like the crit mattered. Um, is so what? So where is it? Uh, so the crit sludge bomb. Oh, it's crit shadow ball, so it wouldn't have killed. Um. That meant that meant uh, that meant the thingy lived. That meant Cloyster lived. As Sylveon had to come in. Like and force me to protect with my um With my uh with my Sylveon when I could have attacked. Don't know. I'm not happy with that. That was me getting hacked out of a playoffs again. <sighs> oh well. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll do a recap uh, either shortly after this or in another video. But um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.